So here's what I want to do right now. I want to take a look back and also a look forward. Today, of course, is the first day of fall and the water year starts October 1st. So we're getting close to the end of our water year. Uh, here's how the last five years went. We had a really strong El Nino 2015-16, hardly got a drop of water. We got a weak La Nina 2016-17 and it was really rainy. In fact, it was so rainy in Northern California, it erased that six year drought. Neutral pattern in 17-18, it was dry for us in Southern California. The last two seasons, we've had weak El Ninos. Both of those have been rainy. Last year was really rainy. We got almost 19 inches of rain. The average is almost 15 inches and we're slightly above that this year. So it's really good for us in Southern California to get that. However, it wasn't that way for Central and Northern California. But here's what's headed our way. A La Nina is forecast and it looks like this one's going to be a moderate strength. So there is a 75% chance that this is actually what happens. We get a moderate strength La Nina. So what does that mean? Well, let's start with what is La Nina. First of all, you have cool water off the coast of South America. And so that's what's projected to happen. That's all a La Nina is. El Nino, it's warmer than average temperatures here. But what this does is it sets into motion a series of events and weather patterns that affect the globe. For us in our state, one of two things happen. We can either get a ridge of high pressure that foams over the Pacific and we get this dry and warm weather. But our last La Nina, what we had was a dip in the jet stream. And so we got a really cool and rainy water year the last time we had a La Nina. So out of the 22 seasons with La Nina since 1950, that's how long we've been tracking them. Six have been above average, 16 have been below average. So it actually looks like there's a big trend here that they're usually dry. But when you take a little closer look, five actually have been near average, so it's more nine to 13. So basically there's a trend toward drier than average weather for our, drier than average weather for us, but it's not a guarantee. And this may be the good news. Looking at the long-term winter forecast, and this is from a weather bell, we are forecasted for the entire state to get an average precipitation year. That would be great news for Central and Northern California because they were bone dry this past season. Uh, really bad in the top 10 driest years. We got a lot of rain actually in Southern California, but they did not. It looks like it'd be above average, 125%. 100% would be average. 75% would be below average, as you can see along the East Coast. And what you have here along the East and Southern United States, the forecast is three degrees above average. This is a really warm winter for us, one degree above average average and again that would affect the snowpack so that'll be something we have to watch but that affects all of us in Southern California and I do want to end with this we are out of the summer months which is our dry season we're of a Mediterranean climate and so we're dry always so we start to get rain in September but we usually get all of our rain or almost all of it in a four month period from December January February to March and that's what we're going to be tracking to see how much if any La Nina does affect us here in Southern California